Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to follow up on yesterday's very successful video and I'm going to tell you guys why GameStop is the good guys, is possibly the good guys and they're actually really fair on their trade-ins. Now, there's going to be a part two to this video of why GameStop is bad, but this video right here is just going to be focused on why GameStop is actually a very good business. So, before we get into that, if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. I upload every single day. Also, like and share this video with all of your friends. So, let's hop right into it. So, the biggest meme, I guess you would say, or stereotypical look on GameStop is that you can go and trade in a ton of games and they'll be like, here's your 80 cents. Now, that is pretty true, but usually why it's true is because people are trading in the games they don't want to play anymore. And whenever you trade in a game that you don't want to play anymore, more than likely, there are a ton of people that have thought the same thing. Usually a good game sticks around a while, and just think about it, whenever you go to GameStop and you trade in your games, do you actually trade in good games? Do you trade in the newest game that's out, or what are you doing? You're trading in uh, the Wii games, some... 360 games, PS2 games, PS3 games that you just never want to play again. Games that weren't even popular whenever they came out, but somehow you ended up getting them and you just found out they were bad and you're trading them in. That's usually why people get low dollar because if you don't want them, no one else wants them. And it's honestly a good thing that GameStop even gives you money. I, if, if I was in control of GameStop, I would not take money for a Hello Kitty for the 360 or something. No one wants that. So a good tip is whenever you want to go and trade in games at GameStop, uh, which I really don't recommend, but take the new games, like take AAA titles, just go to some, uh, go to your Xbox One or PS4 and look at what the top 25 games are. Those games will usually get you around 20 to $30. And that, I mean, and it could be less, it could be like 15 to 25, but that's about 50%, like 45 to 50% of what they're gonna sell it back for, which is a really good thing. Now you can't look at this like, Oh, you bought it from me for 20 and you're selling it for 50. You can't look at it like that because if you sold to an individual person that did that, yeah, that could be wrong. But GameStop is a business and they have to make money. Otherwise, there will not be GameStops. What are you going to be stuck with going to Walmart or Best Buy? And God forbid you have to go to some local mom and pop shop that gives you actually $2 for whatever the game is. It could be Black Ops 3 the next day and you get $2 for it. You know, so GameStop's not all that bad. They, they do have some fair prices and... If you trade in a console, a Xbox One or a PS4, now they're doing $200 back, which is crazy. And this is in-store content or in-store form of payment. But still, it, it's pretty crazy that they would give you $200 for that. And I know the systems are like three, dollars $400. But like I said, you got to think they're a business. They're trying to make their money too and also allow you to have money. Now, another big thing that GameStop does is they kind of... Uh, make it so where you have to have in-store credit instead of getting cash because you know even though they're going to give you like 25 for black ops 3 or whatever the game may be that's new that you know a popular game if you opt to have cash for that it's usually going to be much less than that it's probably going to be 12 to 15 percent less than in-store credit and the reason for that is it's because once you know it's different handing out currency than in-store credit because in-store credit means they're going to get the money back anyway and they're only going to lose one game or two games or whatever you whatever you plan on buying inside of GameStop. So you got to look at it as a business perspective. They are killing. I mean, they do give you more money than local shops and probably even Walmart would. So I guess if this wasn't a meme, like if it wasn't like you see the kids standing there with 50 just stacks and stacks of games and then the GameStop employees say okay 575 you you know trade in stuff that people want I mean if you don't want it like I said other people don't want it and I know sometimes it's like why would I trade in the new games 
then again, why are you complaining that you're trading in some snowboarding game and only getting 50 cent for it? You know, no one no one goes to GameStop and says, hey, do you have any snowboarding games? I'd like to get that. And if they do, it's very few and rare. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. GameStop, you're doing a good job. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm sure a lot of you have other opinions. I'd like to hear it. I'd like to hear what you guys have to think. Peace.